things with the internet is that you don't need other people that decide what is good or bad content. So we don't need the record companies anymore that says, well, this is the music you can listen to. We decide it's going to be played on this uh, radio station if you pay us this amount of money. Instead, you can just give out your money for free or your tracks for free and let people download them and, and participate in them. So it's kind of evolution as well. So Flatter works like in between all of these layers. It's kind of a missing link. So everything wh where you have user-generated content, like on a WordPress blog or a uh, Flickr a picture site or anything like that, you can actually add a Flatter button next to it. And that means that people can show your appreciation more than just a like from Facebook. So the big difference is that a like from Facebook would be that you're willing to press a button. And with Flatter, it's yeah, I'm willing to actually give you some of my money. So that means that it would be higher quality on the information you, you want to support. And at the same time, there's a lot of people who never made money before or never got any appreciation. So I found, found this page today when I was browsing for Flatter buttons. This is a, a girl from, uh, from Paris uh, that started putting Flatter buttons on all of her pictures and all of her photos. And that's what, what I love, because having a dig button and so on, that's OK, but it doesn't really make a viral effect. But it, Flatter is not in the need of the viral effect. That can be a sidetrack of that. But you will actually give her some money by clicking here, which might be great, not only for the money, but for the confidence that someone wants to actually invest in what you're doing. And I've, I've spoken to a lot of people who made maybe two or three euros on Flatter, and they're really happy because they've never made any money before, and they were not sure that people actually liked their information enough to actually get some money. And uh, Flatter is becoming a bit bigger. We're about 30,000 users right now, and we just left invitation-only stage. So here we see it on Debian, which is uh, an open source uh, Linux distribution. And they're starting using the Flatter button to help people or to get help from people for for making something for free. And we're trying to do like a social news site as well. So like Dig, we have a page, a landing page for all of the buttons. And we try to implement uh, videos and photos as well so you can just redirect people to come to our site and have the Flatter button next to your content. We don't want to be a content uh, distributor. We want to help them. Uh, and we want to help everybody just share money. I don't see this as a payment system. It's a, it's a money sharing system. And um, this is, for instance, a Spanish video I found on Flatter today. And um, people have flattered it like 12, 13 times, which means they're going to get a couple of euros at least, probably. And at the same time, as everybody else, this has an interesting web page. We try to make top lists of the most interesting content. And the difference between Flatter, again, and all of the other social news sites is that people actually paid to get these things up here. They actually care enough for that. And that means that you can make a difference. Um, one of my favorite organizations in the world is WikiLeaks. And they started using Flatter because nobody wants to help them. PayPal shut down their accounts. Uh, Moneybrokers shut down their accounts because they're afraid of being associated with WikiLeaks. And WikiLeaks is one of those things which are, is really hard to, to fund. And when you're talking about how to fund things on the internet, like movies and music, you're not really thinking about WikiLeaks, but that's exactly the same, because it's just information on the internet. And WikiLeaks has been really good at, at promoting uh, the Flatter button, so they're going to earn hundreds and hundreds of euros, probably a couple of thousand euros this month from uh, their Flatter buttons, which I think is great. This gave us a lot of attention as well, which I think is great for me. And I learned something today when I was watching Pau, is that you should actually do screenshots of your products he didn't, so I didn't know what he was talking about. Um, this is the dashboard when you have an account with Flatter. Uh, and basically, it works like this. You have an account that you put money into. This money, uh, then you then say how much money you want to spend each month on things. So that's a dynamic thing. So you, have, uh, you can change depending on how much things you find that month. We have a minimum of two euros because we want people to know that, you know, we're going to take your money anyhow, so just click those buttons. And we want you to click as many buttons as possible because it's better to support a lot of people than just supporting one or two. We really believe in, in distribution and decentralization. 
And here you can see this is my dashboard. I clicked 103 things, as we call them, uh, this month. That means that they're going to get seven cents per click, which is not a lot. So I understand that I need to put some more money in my account so I can give them more. And on the other side, you see the money I've made from um, my things. So I have Flatter on my own blog. So if people actually like what I write, they can flatter those things. And uh, this gives me some money in the end of the month. One of the most interesting concepts with Flatter is that we're, since we're trying to remove this whole barrier between creator and, pr and consumer, is that Flatter is not limited to certain types of content. We're very agnostic about uh, the content. So for instance, if I write a blog post and it, it really sucks and nobody wants to press my Flatter button, I can still let uh, people who comment have Flatter buttons on the comments. So Powell might write something like, you're stupid, Peter, and you would love that, and you would Flatter his comment, which means that the metadata would earn you money and you would become a creator, even though people don't see that as creation. But metadata is really important on the internet. Without that, nothing really is worth anything. So that's uh, an interesting concept we're trying to, to play with. And here is some statistics of what is actually my most interesting concept, uh, content, according to people. So I, for instance, when I wrote a blog post about how much I hate Facebook, a lot of people agreed with me. So I made a lot of money from that. I made like, let's see, 70 euros if in one month. And then the next month, someone said again, oh, I like this so much, so they gave me more money. So I've earned almost 100 euros for saying Facebook sucks, which is really good. Uh, but this is quite interesting, because with the dig buttons, people can build uh, robots and, and just click. But with Flatter, they would actually have to pay to do that. So it kind of removes all of the bots and all of those problems. So it's very hard to game. Um, but this is a really, it's a really easy system to build. The hard things for us has been the legal parts because we are actually taking care of people's money. And that's really a big thing. And for once, I'm trying to be a bit cautious when it comes to legal things. Um, but the things we're doing now, instead of focusing on just our own website, which we think is somewhat interesting, but it m must be more interesting if people can use our system with whatever they do. So like everybody else, we build an API, and we use the technology called REST, or REST. Uh, Here's me resting. That's just a stupid play with words again. Uh, and with the API, it's possible to implement Flatter into basically whatever type of uh, s service you have. So you could implement uh, Flatter in, in a gallery. You could have physical paintings that people go watch, and you can have a small link next to them and let people flatter them from their cell phone or whatever. And you can do a lot of really interesting stuff like that with the REST API. It also means that people can implement it to... Uh, for instance, a video player. So you can have in iTunes or whatever you use to play a video with, VLC, you could have a, uh, just Flatter support and I insert an ID tag, Flatter ID into your video files. So when people copy them, you can still be linked to your Flatter ID and give people money for, or get money from people that copied your files for free. And Flatter will never be what they call a paywall. We will never force people to flatter something in order to get to that content. So the good thing with Flatter, compared to like PayPal, who's taking, besides that they're taking a huge cut from the money, um, is that you need to give out all information for free in order to actually get money from the system. And everybody in our system needs to help out. So if you create or if you just want to help people with money, everybody has to put money into the system and share them with each other. So it's really a quite special thing. We're not always the brightest people. We're six people working full-time on this, uh, and we're trying to come up with all of the fun things you can do with uh, a system like this. But it's better that we just open up and let everybody else who has a good idea do that with our system. So right now, we have very few people in, in South America that is using Flatter, and I hope that you will start using it. And uh, well, basically, that's my presentation, because I wanted to be short today. Thank you. So any questions? If there's any questions, Pau can go around to be my assistant. Thank you. Yeah. No questions? There's a question, two questions. Ron. Can the questions be about Pirate Bay? Yes. OK.
Eh, mi pregunta es relacionada a, las, a la privacidad. Eh, si, si me gusta navegar anónimo en Internet, aquí, ¿cómo se asocia cuando doy un clic para autenticarme con mi cuenta de Flat? Es básicamente la pregunta. What? Okay, så jag förstod inte riktigt vad du sa, men jag kan svara på svenska om du vill. Det kanske går bra. Okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, we don't store any logs about users. We don't like to store any information about people if we don't have to. Everything that is part of a financial transaction, that means if you click something, that would actually be that you're sending money to someone. We need to store that because of European Union legislation. But you don't have to give us your name, and you don't have to hide because we're going to find you. But um, no, uh, you don't have to give out any information that you don't really feel like giving us if it's not part that with something we need according to law. Um, we, I strongly believe in in privacy, and I run a VPN service, for instance, which allows people to be totally anonymous on the internet. And we know that people, if they want to be anonymous, they can be. So we're not going to force anyone to do that. And if you visit a web page, for instance, that has a flatter button, we're not storing that it was viewed uh, because we really want our users to trust us. And uh, if we, they don't trust us, this is not going to work. And we, we're not sure this is going to work at all. Uh, this is still just a test. But there's always been so much money, uh, money talk, like we need to find ways to finance things on the internet. But nobody's doing anything, so someone needs to try. Okay, so. Okay. Uh, microphone behind you. Oh, just follow-up question. But it's like a cook in the browser, or I need to sing in the Flutter page every like. Well, uh, you, you you decide yourself. So if you want to sign in with like a keep logged in thing, you can do that. But if you don't trust that, you can just uh, be without a cookie and you log in for every time you want to flatter. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, uh, my question is. Uh, you said uh, Facebook sucks. Uh, yes. I, uh, why do you think that? And another thing, uh, what's what do you think is the main difference between uh, your your idea and Facebook idea? Uh, I mean, besides the money. That's my question. Well, I think money changes a lot, um, so that is a big thing. We actually know who created things or res register them. You don't know that with with uh, Facebook likes, for instance. And I don't like Facebook because they're controlling people. They are the biggest nation in the world almost. They have that many people visiting every day. Uh, they're a total dictatorship with one person deciding everything. Uh, and he doesn't really like people. Uh, and if you want to delete yourself from Facebook, you can't. And if they want to delete you from Facebook, they do. So one of the things that made me really upset about Facebook was uh, one of my best friends. He uploaded some videos that he made. He makes music videos. He uploaded them to Facebook. And they told him, you can't upload these because they're copyrighted. And he said, well, it's, I own the copyright for them. So I want to upload them because I want them to be free. And they said, no, you can't do that. You have to have a copyright on your videos. And you can't upload them without having a signed authorization by the person who made them. So he said, fuck you. And he uploaded them again. And they did this like three or four times. And then they erased his account because they didn't like what he did uh, when he was really upset and put up male genitalia as a profile picture. A bit stupid, but still, they actually erased him from, from Facebook more than just taking away his account. So all the pictures that he was tagged in was deleted from Facebook. Not just his tag, but the actual picture of him was deleted from Facebook. And I noticed because when I was inviting people to come to parties I had at home, he wasn't coming anymore because I used Facebook like everybody else to invite people to parties. So all of a sudden, he had no social life because he was deleted from Facebook. Okay. okay. So yeah, that's some of the reasons why I don't feel like, like Facebook. And I can go on for an hour about why I don't like it. But that's, that's the worst things. Okay. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, please do. Hi. Which countries are the, the ones that are giving more money through, through Flutter? Which, is the, the, Which the countries? Well, right now, Germany is super big in, in for, uh, with Flutter. Yes. Uh, I've gone to a lot of German conferences and spoke about it, and I live in Germany as well. So it's been really 
uh, easy to market or whatever you want to call it there. And in Germany, they have uh, had a lot of discussions about what they call the cultural flat rates, which is that they want some of the uh, political parties want uh, ISPs to pay some sort of money from each customer. Uh, and that should be shared to all of the media companies as a compensation for, uh, for loss. And I like the idea of a flat rate for, for information, but they never talk about bloggers or photographers or any new type of media. And uh, I was really upset. I was in talking with one of the German uh, parties and I asked them, so how would you do with porn? Porn is 60% of the internet. Yes. Would you give 60% of the money to the porn industry that you get from all of the accounts? And they said, well, porn, well, it might be media, but it's not really worth it. So no, we'll ban porn. And so I'm asking, will you ban erotic texts? And what else will you ban from being able to get money from? <coughs> and they don't really understand that you can't uh, put a system in place that is uh, decided by morals that are not actually everybody's morals. Okay, yeah. well, and I am also asking this because there are certain countries like Mexico where people is not confident about donating through, through the web. How can we break that barrier? Because it's an amazing idea and, and it will be great to have it here. Working well, I uh, the biggest problem is probably the mon the way to get money in and out of the system right now because we use um, PayPal and banks and all of that and that's probably a big hurdle for most people. Um, otherwise, I don't know. I, I think we need to talk more to people in different countries and see what is the need for them. Uh, we have a minimum which everybody has to pay because we want everybody to participate and if you don't click anything, we give the money to charity, so it doesn't go just to us. Um, but maybe that money could go to help people in, in nations that are like emerging nations. Okay, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Hi. Hi. Um, so um, the micropayments uh, ecosystem seems to be exploding lately. There's your company, there's Square. So um, my question is, uh, are the banks scared of this? Well, the banks don't really care because this is the internet and you know they have no idea what that is. Uh, so one of the biggest problems with money on the internet is actually everything becomes easier on the internet besides banking. So like five years ago, I just had like a small thing I pressed to get codes. Today I have four different cards I have to push in and everything to get into my bank account. And Flatter is kind of the opposite. It's if you want to be always logged in, you just click and then you actually paid something. Um, but I think this will be a quite small market compared to the banking markets. I don't think they're really interested in, in doing anything with this. Okay. So. And so how can I flatter this talk? Well, uh, that depends if uh, the campus party have flatter support on their <laughs> blog. And we'll force them to have that, so you can flatter it afterwards. Sure. Thank Signing. you. Any more questions? No. Démosle un aplauso fuerte para despedirlo. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I agree. Oh. Okay, so I'm I'm done before time. I had half an hour left. ¿Alguien tiene preguntas de Pirate Bay? No. Any questions about Pirate Bay? It's boring. Okay. Let people go home. It's it's late. What? It's like, oh, you know, Steve Wozniak said that he would sleep in a tent on the next campus party. Would you sleep in a tent tonight with all those people? I, I've done that already many times, but I don't want to do it if you're nearby. <laughs> well, that's an excuse to say no. No, I just want them to ban you from coming here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so. So, oh, one more question, then everybody can, can leave. Yeah, why did I get this? I, I removed this from Okay, me. so let the... Ask. Oh. We're not very professional, just so you know. That's quite obvious. Well, it's not a question, but if we still have time, we, we probably can get uh, a photograph with you, or probably with, with us and you without shoes. That would be great. Like, like a photograph or something. Yeah. Everybody together there <laughs> and, and then... Yeah, he wants like everybody to be in one picture. Or yeah, sure. Sure, go take a picture, pal. Okay. Yeah. I'll do the picture. <laughs> so everybody sit up here or something. Okay. This is very hippie. Yeah.
Uh, we're a private company. And oh, we're actually the first vegetarian company in the world, I think. So our company policy is that you can actually spend money on anything which is not. Oh, yeah, um, sure. You just want to show your feet. <laughs> yeah, this is 